Good morning. Try it without the mask. Good morning. Uh, we're putting on in some anhydrous today. It's Saturday, March 7th, I believe. Uh, just got hooked up to the tank and got the pump primed. Uh, so we should be ready to go now. Um, obviously, had the safety equipment on. Uh, big gloves down here on the floor as well. Um, but uh, it's actually dried off enough to do some stuff. It's supposed to rain Sunday night, so probably going to run pretty hard the next couple days. Um, I got started yesterday afternoon. Got probably 60 acres or so done. Um, ran into a little issue in that the place that I normally get anhydrous from, the valves on the tanks are at the front, uh, and my nurse tank hose wasn't long enough to reach the ones from this supplier, that some of them are in the middle. Um, so that probably cost me an hour or so yesterday afternoon, besides some other screwing around, just getting stuff ready to go. Um, but we are rolling. Uh, it seems like I maybe am putting on a lighter rate than I want to, and I'm not sure why because the ground-driven pump normally is pretty friggin' accurate, um, but my supplier was gonna let me know the weights on the first two tanks so that I can kind of do some back of the envelope math on the acres that I covered yesterday and figure out exactly where I'm at. Um, this is only the third year that I've had this toolbar with the ground-driven pump, and the first year that I've not torn it apart before this season, um, so I don't know if there's some seals in there that are deteriorated and aren't sealing right on the piston or exactly what's going on because usually it's been pretty dead on in the past but other than that things are going pretty well um, there's a few slightly wet spots but overall not too bad um, hoping we can get a good chunk of it done here before the weather turns on us I, I doubt if I'll get finished but we'll see I guess all right we'll try to get some action shot here we are uh, on the auto steer off the uh, pass that I made along this waterway over here to the left uh, yesterday. Um, so we've got a little bit of time here. Uh, basically what we're doing is injecting anhydrous ammonia, which is uh, NH3 is the chemical term or the formula. Um, so it's a uh, compressed gas, so liquid form in the tank and then uh, turns into gas as it evaporates or evaporates at atmospheric pressure. Um, but this is our nitrogen fertilizer for the corn. Um, we're putting down, or aiming to put down about 150 pounds of actual N, which is 180 pounds of product. It's 82% of the NH3 by weight is nitrogen. Um, however, it looks like I am getting a little bit light. Uh, I'm just about finished with this field, so I'm going to stick with the setting that I have um, just so that it's all the same, and then probably we'll run a little bit more uh, dry spread nitrogen AMS or something like that to uh, kind of make up the difference. All right, we're in a new field now and putting on the outside passes. So uh, this is a 40 acre field. Um, it's square, but most fields, even if they're square, are not actually square. Um, so I'm doing sort of three passes around and then there's a road over here that I've got an AB line set up on, so once I get this uh, outer two rounds on, so that'll give me headlands or endros, depending on the terminology that you want to use. Um, and then after that, I'll be able to just do everything straight AB, and uh, then it'll just overlap into these last few passes. Uh, coming up on the end here, so I'm gonna see if I can do this one-handed, which is probably gonna be tough, but we'll try. Um, so I'm coming up here to the end, I'm going to disable the auto steer, and then I'm going to go ahead and shift down a couple more gears here. So I'm going to lift the pump and then lift the toolbar, and even one-handed I managed to not hit the fence, so that's good. So now we're gonna get turned around and squared up. Um, it's pretty hard to back up with these tanks uh, just because you have the toolbar in between. Um, so normally try to pick up in a spot that you don't have to back up, uh, if at all possible. Um, so I'm gonna get lined up here and then put this last pass on and then uh, start doing the straight AB lines. Try to get a little more action footage here. Uh, so we are on the third pass, uh, going off the AB line on the road, and 
kind of the dream here is to eventually be able to index the planter to the anhydrous fan. Um, so either plant directly on top of it or a few inches off to the side to kind of maximize that efficiency. Um, I'm not sure if we're quite there yet because even with the RTK it seems like sometimes we have stuff closer together like right now it seems like it's a little tight uh, and I don't know if that's the bar like drafting a little bit sideways or exactly what's going on. Um, it's probably not going to be perfect with this bar and my planter anyway because I'm using a 13 knife bar and a 12 row planter so you're always you're not going to be on the same passes. Um, but that's kind of what we're aiming for. Um, it seems to be working pretty well. I did end up bumping the pump up a little bit to kind of experimentally get it to put on the rate that I want. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going on with that. Maybe we'll investigate tonight. Um, but this is a field that if I need to run a little bit extra AMS or something to get the rate up, um, I'll be good. And if I'm putting on a little bit more than I necessarily want, uh, this field probably has the yield potential to support it. So. Um, we'll see how things come out uh, on the next tank here and then go from there. Well, had a little setback this afternoon. Um, blew the hydraulic hose that runs a little cylinder that uh, adjusts the drive wheel for the pump up and down. Um, which you can't really tell on the back window of the side glass over here. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but got some nice oil spray and uh, starting to get some dirt sticking to the oil spray on the toolbar. Um, got it fixed now, so we're back running again, but I had to bleed the bar again, which is kind of a pain. And uh, the normal places that we have make hydraulic hoses for us are closed at this point. So we had to go to an auto parts store and kind of paid the Saturday tax to uh, get a replacement hydraulic line. But I suppose I shouldn't complain because they were able to figure something out without asking a uh, year make and model um, to look up the parts on the computer. So. Um, anyway, we're running. Uh, it's going to get dark here pretty soon, and I'm also going to be on some shorter passes that it's going to be hard to take video, so I thought I would uh, report the latest. Uh, so, minor obstacle, but uh, such is life.